The builder data showcased by DLA in the prior presentation is very data rich. In fact, it's so data rich that it creates a new problem. How do we empower leadership to act on the data to answer common questions like, what are the top 10 mission critical buildings needing a new roof? The answer is simple, it's web apps. You're probably used to seeing reports in the form of spreadsheets, static PDFs, or maybe even a slide deck, but those sources are incredibly limiting. Instead, we can provide an interactive report in the form of a web app like this one. Here, we are using a newer web app called ArcGIS Experience Builder, showing simulated installation data. This app is providing some very high-level key performance indicators that our leadership would be interested in. We see some facts and figures about the replacement costs and square footage highlighted at the top. As we scroll down, we have an interactive web map denoting overall facility condition. We can expand the map and explore it. As we click on a facility, we'll see more information about that building. This web map is utilizing arcade expressions to match our color scheme with each individual building metric. As you see here, overall condition in amber, roof in red, and foundation in green. Furthermore, the card to the right highlights metrics including the average facility condition in green to match our symbology and the average age of facilities on post. This could easily be static statistics, but there's a little more behind these metrics than meets the eye. Let's look under the hood of the Experience Builder Designer that allows a user to design an application without a single line of code. I know our data has replacement cost values, so let's add the average cost metric to the facility status card. We can navigate to the dynamic content button, choose our building data, use average as our operator, and facility replacement costs as our field. We can click insert, and now we can style the text to match the rest of the card. Let's choose white, bold, and size 32. Lastly, we can add some reference text to denote replacement costs. Experience Builder can read geospatial data dynamically, so our building metrics stay live as data is edited, keeping our command in form. Let's save and publish the app. So now we are building an experience where our leadership doesn't have to rely on a daily printed status report to make decisions. Furthermore, there's no need to run back to the office to grab or view that old report because Experience Builder is mobile adaptive so our leadership can have access to all of this data on any device, anytime, anywhere. We can view this mobile experience with a simple click of a button. So here we can see our app resized to fit the mobile device and our cards line up perfectly. Let's relaunch the app to view our changes. We can even dig deeper into specific key building components like the roof data as seen when I hover over that card. As we click on the card, we are directed to a new page with even more details. With the ArcGIS Experience Builder, we can design an interactive web experience that our leadership can use to make decisions without being a geospatial analyst. Now let's explore three applications that can help our command take a deeper dive into the Fort Rollins roof data and ultimately help leadership make educated decisions. To help with that, I would like to pass the mic over to my colleague, Thomas Warner. Thanks, Andrew. 
Let's build off of what Andrew was just showing. For example, aiding in the ability to monitor our key performance indicators at our simulated Fort Rollins installation, we have configured an interactive roof reports application using ArcGIS Insights. Within, several widgets display a range of facility roof data filtered from our schema. In our overview page, which you see here, we can select the facility type widget to isolate the office KPI, noting that the, all the widgets, replacement cost, occupancy, average roof age, update. The same can be done with our warranty and facility division widget. The condition and warranty page delivers the same interactivity while delving deeper into the roofing data and housing replacement cost. Selecting no on the warranty widget, we notice by the deeper purple that these facilities have been heavily inspected in recent years. We can see by the green bar that our housing represents a sizable portion of this group and that in our similarly color coded scatter plot, most of these roofs are 25 to 30 years old. By filtering back in our warranty widget, by building type, and by roof age, We can drill down to specific areas of need and discover a replacement cost of almost 1.4 million. This will be good to note for our next fiscal year. ArcGIS Insights gives us a high level view and detailed understanding of our KPI for that day-to-day -day monitoring of our facility data. But what happens when the end of the year funding comes in? What's the first thing that we can do? We could send out an all departmental memo asking for specific data, but that's time consuming and these funds could be depleted by others if we delay. Now enabling proactive planning, Azure Technology can circumvent having others search for the data and then report back to us. Using data-driven tools that are web enabled, our leadership can quickly explore options creating efficient decisions and insightful collaboration. Powered by ArcGIS dashboards, the Scenario Planner application enables us to use facility data to receive proactive planning possibilities. Now let's take a look at what happens when Fort Rollins receives a $400,000 injection into its annual facilities budget as we focus our efforts to get the greatest return of investment. Within the dashboard, we have several ways to focus our planning opportunities. Setting the mission dependency index to 70 permits us to focus on our operational critical facilities, adjusting a few other parameters, as well as adding our funding amount of $400,000. Isolate 10 critical facilities with a replacement cost within budget that impact over 577 personnel. And that's all within headquarters operations. The Scenario Planner and RGS dashboard displays valuable information using simple tools that create time-saving solutions for your planning and budgeting needs. With a plan in place, we can move forward outputting the key facilities to our read-only top roof priorities list app. This allows us to share planned facilities and all the relative information with our stakeholders. With Esri technology, we can monitor our current conditions and proactively plan scenarios using web-based data-driven tools that are easily shared, promoting efficient and impactful solutions with and among our key personnel. Thank you.